On January the 31st, Queenslanders finally have their chance to send Campbell Newman a message. We know what the last three years has brought Queensland. There has been chaos and there has been dysfunction. Three years ago, Campbell Newman was elected with a massive majority. He took Queenslanders for granted. He tore this state apart. He picked fights with doctors and lawyers and teachers. No one was safe. Labor was reduced to seven people in the Queensland Parliament. I've been heartened by the fact that since the Redcliffe and Stafford by-election, that people have started to put their faith back into Labor. This is going to be a David and Goliath battle. Make no mistake, we have nine seats out of an 89-seat parliament. But Queensland deserves so much better. They deserve so much more than what they have been delivered by this arrogant and out-of-touch Newman government. Campbell Newman promised so much and delivered so little. He promised workers' jobs would be safe. Then he sacked 24,000 people. This has had a huge impact on regional economies right across the state. It's had an even bigger impact on families themselves, heartbroken, having to move out of their homes, the stress and the despair. We've had cuts to services. We've had cuts to jobs. Health workers have been slashed across this state. Over 4,800 nursing and health jobs gone. This is having a huge impact on our hospitals right across the state and the ability for government to deliver quality health care. Let's look at our TAFE system. Completely destroyed by this Newman government. Young kids are telling me that they can't even afford to go to TAFE now because the fees are out of reach. This is an opportunity for the mums and dads and Queenslanders out there to remember the three years of chaos and dysfunction. Never, never forget what Campbell Newman and this government have served up to you on a platter. Over the last three years, I've been out there listening to Queenslanders. This is a great state. I was born in Queensland. I was born in Corinda, and I'll live the rest of my days in Queensland. No matter where you live, whether it's Cairns, whether it's Charleville, Mount Isa, the Gold Coast or Brisbane, we need a government for all of Queensland. There is a better way for Queensland. There is a better way for dealing with people. I want to make it very clear today to Queensland that I have a plan. And that plan is to unite Queensland, not to divide Queensland. Tell us more, what else are you doing? Councilman, Over the next 26 days, I will be announcing solid plans for Queensland. But we need a government of consensus not a government that picks fights with its citizens. This is not how a government should run. I've been heartened by going out there and listening to people. And they are saying to me, they are with us every step of the way. They are fighting the fight with us. They are standing by my side as we take this fight up to this arrogant and out of touch government. We've already released over 30 policies, but there's a lot more to come and I look forward to the election campaign over the coming 26 days.